Eight two, three point eight one. Ah, g'day, tubers. Who wants to win a fifty dollar US gift card from Amazon? Basically, I'm going to have a bit of a competition. It's going to last two weeks. I'm not going to drag it out. But basically, what I want to do is have a conversation on DIYPowerWalls.com forum, and the conversation is regarding power wall safety. So, you know. I want to get out of people's heads. Um, okay, so we, we, we all have that one troll that comes to our forums or, or posts or whatever else, sees 22 seconds of one video and then pulls it apart and doesn't look at the back end of it. I want to do this better. I want to do this bigger. I want to do it stronger. I want to build this community so it's at a stage where it's beyond this I'll burn your house down crap. Um, is it possible that one of these power walls will burn someone's house down at some time? Yes. But I'm sorry, your deep fryer sitting on your wooden bench in your kitchen, your hair dryer that you put on your hair dryer that you put on your carpet hot after you blow dried your hair, obviously that's not my problem now. Um, electrical short in the wall for it's like a gecko could short circuit something and burn your house down. So I want to make this as as safe as possible. Head on over to the forum and do a video or type it up and, and list it. And basically, I just want to have a whole heap of contributors telling me how to do mine better, uh, telling the world how you could do a Powerball better. If you've got some cool ideas, if you've got an Arduino project that can manage temperatures or whatever, if you've got a custom BMS that you're working on or whatever, if you saw one on a startup that would work well that we should all know about, um, you know, rec BMS, whatever, it doesn't matter. Head on down to the DIYpowerwalls.com and at the end of it we'll create a, um, a voting system. So all the users can get on there and vote for which one you think was the best idea and that person will win the $50 gift card. I don't know how I get them that gift card, whether I just buy it, have the gift card sent to me and then I send it to them. That will take a little bit of time, considering I haven't bought the gift card yet. or I can buy the gift card and drop ship it to them. I don't know how that works, but we'll work it out anyway. But let's give this a try. Let's make this better. I hope you can um, stand behind me and help me. And let's see what we can do to improve the views of our Powerwall community that is growing quite strongly. Cheers, YouTube, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.